new camera. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. How does it look? I am like, I feel like I'm glowing in this. This is the wide angle. And I think I could just remove this and it'll be zoomed in. I'm fucking obsessed. I think I like the wide angle the best. How fun is this? It's literally like the size of this. So it's really, really small. I got a little tripod for it. It comes with this little case. And I'm starting a new vlog because this is gonna be so fun to vlog on. I am freaking excited. I have been working all morning. I have to shoot some content. Now, now that I have this, I am so ready. I'm gonna do some booty content for my Instagram. I also have this connected to my phone right now so I can see myself in a larger screen if I need to, or if I was like farther away, I would be able to see. Look at, this is what you look like on my table right now. So small. I'm gonna use this for vlogging. I'm gonna use this for TikToks, Instagram reels, all of the above. Got ready this morning, had a bunch of meetings. I still have some meetings, but in about 15 minutes, Daisy and I are going to um, go to her photo shoot. I need to take some content before I leave. I just filmed a few video clips for my Instagram, which should be enough for today, but I actually need to do this like again tomorrow or something because Daisy just called and she said she's about 10 minutes away from picking me up and we're going to her photo shoot. So let's do that. Um, I'm gonna be still working throughout the day. I'm just gonna bring my phone with me and I have like tons to do. So I'm gonna do that through my phone. And I think that's just about it. Okay, I'm with Daisy. We are on the PCH because she's having a shoot in Malibu. Daisy, how are you feeling? Feeling good, heading to the shoot. She got her makeup done by one of our friends who's a makeup artist and she's looking beautiful. She has brand new hair, if you guys didn't notice, because you probably haven't seen her in a while, but she is, she's a bleach blonde now. She's blonde a blonde, blonde babe, which makes so much sense to coming out here into Malibu. I yeah. feel like that's yeah, the vibe. And I actually have a call in a second, a work call. So I'm gonna take that and then we'll probably arrive and then I'll finish up my call. Then I'm gonna go out and get some BTS of Daisy's little shoe. She's got plenty of outfits. How many outfits did you bring? I think like four or five. A lot. A lot. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's what we're up to right now. I am literally just way too excited about this camera. I'm a freak for um, technology. I like it. I need one of those. And we're in stop traffic. So I'm gonna take this call and I'll catch you when we get to the destination. I just hiked up this freaking mountain. It was so steep and I was so out of breath, but we made it up the top and now Daisy's doing her photo shoot. So let me show you. Got some little BTS clips for her and I ran up this mountain and I was still on my call. So I was trying to be somewhat quiet and not sound like I was just running up a mountain. We're in Malibu. It's a bit chilly. I'm glad I bundled up. I knew it was gonna be cold. I, I even thought about it before I left. I was like, should I bring a scarf? And I could have packed, I could have brought the scarf. It doesn't hurt to just bring the layers. You know what I mean? Is that the moon? Is it the moon? Oh no, it's a plane. We're actually at Pepperdine University right now. And when I was applying to schools, I almost applied here. I wanted to go for their business school, but then I ended up changing my mind kind of last minute and I wanted to go to cinematography school. So that, and thank God I did because I really love what I do. But business school would have been cool and probably helpful too. Now we just have this shoot. And then after I think we're gonna get some drinks at the Aviator Nation like bar and restaurant. I haven't been there before, but I think Daisy has, and it's at the Malibu Pier. This would be a great patch of grass to have a picnic in. And I saw a few people like reading and having little picnics. People are like walking their dogs. There's gotta be an easier way to get up this mountain because the way we came was so strange. We just like ran up the hill basically. <laughs> good this camera does in the dark. I am in shock. I'm also freezing cold. I was just sitting out there. It was absolutely freezing. And then luckily Ian, her photographer was like, Hey, I think like the car can't be there after five 30. So you should go sit in the car. And I was like, you're a freaking lifesaver. I don't know if you just said that so that I could go back in the car because the sign, the street sign does not say that. <laughs> yeah. I'm back in the car now. I'm 
so cold. I was just doing some more work on my phone in the messages. Um, I feel like half of my life is just like messaging people back. I just feel like I'm always in the messages. Also, sometimes people don't realize that I am only human and I can only get to messages so quickly. I think that's my biggest struggle, honestly. People will get mad. Oh, you haven't responded in three days. Well, I've got slushy messages. I got OF messages. I've got student messages. I've got emails. I've got brand deals. I've got like people I'm working with. Like it is nonstop messages. Also, I wanted to say something sad happened, but not too sad. Honestly, I'm, I'm happy for her, but Katiana, has other obligations that she has to kind of you know figure out so Katiana is no longer my assistant anymore and we did not leave on bad terms I absolutely freaking love her she helped me so much the past year and like I don't know if she realizes how grateful I am to have had her like helping me everything that she helped me with was so incredible and I just can't thank her enough like she really did wonders for me yeah I'm really grateful for her she's no longer working for me but we're still friends she has another job too and so it was getting really overwhelming for her and that's why she decided it was just not gonna work anymore and um I just want what's best for her of course I, I don't want her to be overwhelmed with like so much to do because I know how that feels that's kind of what happened last week and this week has been so crazy busy not because of it honestly like there's been a lot of reasons why it's been so crazy busy but that was definitely like an added piece and so that just added to like more of my workload that I had to take care of on another note though I do have someone now taking over the responsibilities so going into next week hopefully it'll be a lot easier and more smooth this week was just like you know kind of getting that sorted out I just had to get you know the new person onboarded I feel like my whole life is work but I also really love what I do like I know I kind of had a moment in my last vlog where I was just, honestly, it happens. Like, we're human. We have our days where we're not feeling 100%. And I definitely had one of those days. But overall, I really am happy with what I'm doing. I love, like, the work. I love working with creators. I love, like, meeting creators. My favorite part is obviously connecting with everyone. Um, I love creating content. Like, everything I'm doing is really, really exciting. And I love what I do and I love who I work with and I love slushy and like the team there that I've been working with and I get so inspired by them and by like just everything I'm doing like it makes me feel like I have purpose in life so I'm really happy and I did get over my kind of like emotional wave that I was going through last week <laughs> bit ago and look at them oh shoot <laughs> look how cute they are look how cute they are how you doing Rufus we've been hanging out with him giving him little treats he was acting like he was so hungry now I need to like get ready for bed look at me oh my gosh why is this mascara dinner always rubbing off good. dinner was dinner was pretty good what would you say I liked it yeah, it was good. It wasn't what we expected because we actually used to go to that place a lot, or like the place that we went. We used to go there and they changed the menu. So we were kind of disappointed, but we had the food and it was still pretty good. But now we're going to head to bed. Get ready for bed. Go maybe watch some TikToks. Go to sleep. Good morning. Um, okay, the tracking is super strange. Maybe I should turn that off. That's like a little bit much I don't know we're going to our friend's baby's first birthday today we're also getting coffee with a friend this morning um, and then later in the day later in the day I'm not actually sure what we're doing chill 
Saturday. Yesterday was nice. Oh, Daisy also got this brand new straightener. It's the GHD Platinum Plus. I mean, this is my first time using it. We actually might get a PS5 today, or at least at some point this weekend. Our best friends have a PS5 and we were staying at their house and we were all playing and it was so much fun. And we kind of just wanted to like find something to do like when we want to just chill and relax um, at the house, but that wasn't just to watch TV. Like sometimes I just want to veg out a little bit, but still not just stare into the abyss. A couple of my Instagram accounts are actually, you know, starting to see a little bit of a pickup. My Alana Co account, the following isn't growing as fast compared to the amount of views I'm getting, but I have a few videos that have hit like 15, 20, 30, 40K, which is great. Um, and then I had one almost, I think it's almost about to reach 100K on Alana Sips account. And that actually got me a lot of followers. I'm now at like 3000 followers. And I remember last week when I filmed my vlog, I was literally only about to reach a hundred, um, or not a hundred, a thousand followers on Alana Sips. So I've gained like 2000 followers and I think maybe two ish weeks. So that one's growing. And then I also created the Alana, um, baby account. And that one is like for skits and stuff. And so far I've been promoting it on those other accounts. Um, just to try and get some traction to it and I think I'm about to reach a hundred followers and I started that one about a week ago so that's kind of the stats for right now I'm excited about that I think you know when I got in my head about it in the last vlog and I was like really comparing myself you have the day you power through and then you keep going like you can't just give up because you have a bad day so that's what I'm doing and I feel pretty positive I think like right after that video is when I had the video on Alana Sips kind of take off and like get me a little boost there. So I just need to keep doing that over and over again and hopefully we'll start to see the numbers that I really want to see. I just got finished getting ready, did my hair, did my makeup. Now I am going to go head out. I need to put some clothes on and I need to meet Daisy and our friend in about 30 minutes. I was thinking I was going to walk there, but I might Uber because I don't know if I can walk that fast. So we'll see because I need to change too. So I might only have like 15 minutes by the time I'm done. I'm not sure what I'm going to wear because it feels a little chilly in here, but it looks really nice outside. I have no idea. We are home now. I met up with Daisy and our friend, got some coffee. Then Daisy picked me up because I walked all the way there. It took me like 30 minutes. I made it. Now Daisy is saying hi to Rufus and we're actually gonna head out because we're gonna grab some food and then we're going to get a present for our friend's kid's birthday. And then we're getting the PS5. We're doing it, we're going for it. And I wanna show you my outfit right now because I'm feeling it today. It is all just black. Let me show you because I am feeling it. So don't look at the house, it's a literal disaster, but I have this jacket that I got in Portugal. I love that it has like little strings hanging off of it. And it's it's just from Zara, but I got it in Portugal. And I'm obsessed with it. And it's super warm and cozy. And I love the big pocket. I'm wearing a black Skims long sleeve tee. And then these pants that I got at Revolve. They're like cargo black pants, low rise. Then I have just some golden gooses on. And my black like little bag that I bring around everywhere. Oh, Daisy, I wanna show you my, my birthday dress. I came in. Oh I wanna do your reveal. Can you, here, you hold the microphone and we'll hear your, get your reaction. Okay. Okay, I'm ready, I'm excited. Okay, what are your thoughts? Alice in Wonderland. Right? That's, the theme. That's the theme, Alice in Wonderland. Uh -huh. So bl something blue. Yes, yes, ready? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh my God, that's perfect. That looks so nice. That literally looks perfectly Alice. And the ballerina shoes came in. Oh my, ballerina yeah, shoes. Kind of like, it's, like, it's like a tutu. Yeah. I love it. And actually, it has shorts. It's actually um, a jumpsuit. So you can jump in it too. Yeah. I love it. I'm actually starving, but Daisy needs to shower and then we can grab food. Okay, we stopped at a little farmer's market. I got dumplings. Daisy got a tamale, but we parked in an illegal spot. So I came back to the car while she's waiting for her tamales because they're going to take a little second. She is literally obsessed with tamales. I actually introduced her tamales. She never even had them before she met me. So anyways, 
I'm having mine right now. They're so freaking good. Little chicken dumplings. I was so hungry. I ate one already and I'm like, that literally brought life back to me. Oh, I wanted to talk about something too that I saw this morning. This morning I saw Blair Beanie's YouTube video and she has gained, she basically, she created a brand new YouTube channel and got to 30,000 subscribers in a month, which is like seriously insane. She's doing amazing. I'm so proud of her. Um, when I first met her, like she had just, she'd only been a creator for like a year and now I think she's like over a year, like she's past her year mark. She's such a talented, smart individual. We've made it to Target. We made it to Target. We need to get a little present. We, oh my God, it's the smallest little city Target of all time. Daisy wanted to get a xylophone because obviously she's in music, but we looked it up and they don't have them here. So we're going to grab something else just because it was the only Target in the area. Ow. I also almost ripped my freaking nail off when I got out of the car. My finger hurts so bad. Okay, what should we get? There's like all oh these like... God, there's loads of toys in there. I'm sure there's something musical. Look, there's a little piano. How did you do that? Oh my God. Does it plug in though? I don't think so. I think no, it just takes batteries. <laughs> to go into Target. I'm so freaking exhausted that it's like painful. I think that- There's Sonic for half price at games. Oh, I like Sonic, I want Sonic. We should Sonic. go back to some games. Okay. But to begin. It's about to begin. But what I was saying is, is I'm so freaking tired. Honestly, the kids party was so it fun was and so cute, it but it was exhausting. It was a lot. I think just like being around kids, it's not like I was like playing or anything, but like the energy is so high and I'm like such a low energy type of person yeah. that it, I got so tired. And now it's actually kind of getting late. It's like 4.30 or what time is it? 5? 5.20. Oh my God, it's 5.20. We, so. We've been gone a lot. Yeah, we've been gone all been day. We've just been out in a dip out. And now we're getting this game thing and let's just Maybe go home and five. play. Yeah. Right? We'll go home, set I want to get Sonic for sure. Sonic, I want to get And a racing game. Auto. Yeah. Do you Gran want to... Turismo and the Hogwarts. Nice. All right, so we're going to get this, and then we're yeah. going to play games all night. Good boy. Was that good? We just got home. Little Rufus is out. He's exploring. Don't let him off the couch. I think he missed us today. He loves the camera, I'm telling you. Next so long. Every time I put a camera in his face, he literally like runs towards it. I wanted to show my little tinsel that I got in my hair. Look at the tinsel. I wish my gray hair was like fully all the way down to the bottom of my hair because then I feel like it would blend a little better and I would feel less insecure about it. But I was feeling my hair today, so I really do like Daisy's new straightener. Super cute. We just got in. We got like four different games for our PS5. We got... Gran Turismo, we got Sonic, Grand Theft Auto, and what else did we get? Oh, and like Harry Potter. We're gonna do that in a little bit after we're done playing with Rufus. We have to do the dishes, we have to make food. We're both so exhausted. We have to wash his stuff. We have to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow because we're going to Daisy's soccer game and then after that we're meeting up with my cousin for brunch. We also need to clean up the house because there's like a lot just out and about so we have a lot to do it's gonna be a good night because we're gonna be playing our new ps5 i want to talk about blair's video and then i also want to talk about something that I, ha I had another moment of realization today maybe i should just talk about it right now should i okay yes so basically you guys know i like to just be open and honest about my journey and like that's what this youtube channel is it's literally just sharing my journey, sharing things that i find um that could be helpful to you and that's that's what it is so wait i need to go back a little bit blair's video she's doing amazing and it sparked like the other half of this that i wanted to talk about but um basically she's doing reels she's kind of doing like what aaron and ann and kayla are doing and what kayla taught all of us she also like mentioned a few things that has helped her basically turning off professional mode on IG, which I'm putting into, I'm like testing out right now. And Anne is also testing out, um, just because both of ours were on professional mode. And so are Kayla and 
um, errands. She made a brand new YouTube channel and she started just seeing like the different trends that you could do and working off of that to, you know, blow up as far as YouTube goes. So anyways, aside from that, she's doing amazing. Absolutely awesome. I will link her down below so you can check out her video where she actually like goes into detail of all that. But it made me have a realization. And as you guys know, last week I had that realization that I was kind of like judging myself and comparing myself the way I looked to some people in my life, like actually in my life, not people on the internet, actually. I know I kind of mentioned that I see pretty girls all the time and that is what makes me judge the way I look. But the people that I was actually talking about, the two girls, are in my real life. They're not actually online. So that's what I was comparing myself to. And then it made me think like, oh, I'm always looking at pretty girls. And then I get in my head about how I look, my curly hair, you know, not being like the stereotypical, like whatever. So I was thinking about that. And then I also talked about in that video, the numbers and how, um, my numbers aren't what I want them to be as far as like going viral, uh, especially in reels. And then I watched Blair's video and it kind of like, made me have that same feeling, which I'm a girl's girl. Like I want all of my friends and you know, all the girls to be doing amazing. I truly, truly want that. But it had the, like I had a realization where I had that feeling of like ugh, judgment towards myself and like comparison and feeling like, you know, when these girls started, they watched my YouTube videos and like, I'm glad that I could help them this that far and then they like obviously took off and I think you know being a teacher that's kind of how it is like you teach and you want your students to do better than you right um you want them to grow and like be super successful and so I was kind of in my head about that like damn like she only started a year ago and now she's like flying and like that's what I want for my friends I want them to do amazing but it definitely does spark that like sense of insecurity in me that how come I'm not getting those same numbers and I just want to be honest about my journey right now and just you know say that's where I'm at is like I was definitely comparing myself and Daisy and I had this conversation earlier and she was like you can't you can't do that you just can't like you you can anyone can be comparing themselves to some somebody that's doing better right and you just kind of have to stay in your lane and like focus on you so that's what I'm trying to do but I also want to be honest about my journey and honest about my feelings and like I also don't want this to come across as like any hate towards like literally people that I call my online friends like I it's not they're all doing so awesome but I definitely have that like question in the back of my head like why why aren't my videos doing the same on reels you know it's normal human shit honestly um and then also being like in the space of teaching a teacher can teach a teacher can like gather the information and then the students like put that to work. It's it's a weird space to be in, but I just wanted to share that part of my journey right now and say that I'm trying to like take it day by day and like not get in my head about it and just be open about that um, because that's what my YouTube channel is. It's just me trying to like share what I know, share what I learn from other people even, and yeah, just keep moving forward. So. That's where I'm at with everything. Honestly, a lot of my videos on Alana.co have reached like 40K and then I have one on my Alana Sips that reached 100K. It, it's just a slow build, especially with a brand new page and I can't, I can't be too hard on myself, okay? And like I said, I don't want this to become across as like, like I just want everyone to know that I'm like happy for other people. I'm just human and I compare myself to. I'm just feeling, I'm feeling positive. It, I just realized that today. And um, I try to be like really, really honest with my feelings within myself. Cause sometimes you lie to yourself. You're like, I'm not jealous. I'm not like feeling this way, right? Like you don't wanna admit to that, but that's just human nature. Now I should probably get back to spending time with my little family and cleaning this damn apartment so that we can play games. Our plant was completely wilted when we walked in and then Daisy fed it some water. It completely did a 180 and now it's it's alive. It like literally flourished out of nowhere. So we're just impressed by our little mint plant here. I think it could use some more love and we need to like give it some more dirt at the bottom, but we're doing our best, okay?
We've been watching The Trust on Netflix. It's actually really, really good. I like it. Daisy hasn't really been paying attention, but I think it's pretty good. Um, but we are now going to play, finally, it's 9.30 and we have to be up early. But we're going to play our Nintendo. Is that what it's called? No, it's PS5. Oh my god. Is it? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a gamer. I'm not a gamer girl. We're going to do that. Oh, let's see how it goes. Just got out of the shower. I know I didn't look, I don't look like it because I didn't wash my hair, but I try not to wash my hair. You guys know the gist. Anyways, just got out of the shower, fed Rufus, gave him a few little treats, cleaned his cage, and now I am going to make some coffee. I'm literally so tired. I woke up at like 6 a.m. this morning because my nose was like stuffy. I think I have allergies. I think it's like becoming allergy season for me. I don't know. Today we're gonna see my cousin. I don't know what time because initially we were gonna see her in the morning for breakfast, but she went out last night and I don't want to like wake her up too early or anything. I just told her like just let me know when you want to hang out. Do your thing in the morning, you know. So we'll see when we see her, but I want to see my cousin today. And then other than that, I kind of just want to chill today. I'm really tired and I want to play the PS5 because we didn't really have a chance last night. We played a little bit, but it was like 1 a.m. by the time the game downloaded. I did not expect that. Back in the day when Xbox came out, you would put the CD in and it didn't download. Like it was, you would play it on the CD, I'm pretty sure. At least from what I remember. So I was kind of confused by that. You know what I realized? I am such a grandma now. My cousin was like, where should we go out? That sounds horrible. Like, you should not do that. But <laughs> we told her, like, some place. Honestly, I think we gave her a bad recommendation. I was thinking about it after. I'm like, I regret saying that because she's, like, 21, 22, 23. I don't know exactly. And, like, those people want to, like, go out. Like, I should have recommended, like, a going out place. The bar we recommended was is fun, but it's not like a strip of bars. And there are plenty of strip of bars here, like where you can just walk to a bunch of different ones. So I regret recommending her that. So I, I wonder how her night went. I really do. But what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, it just reminded me, like, what a fucking grandma I am. Like, yeah, I like to have fun with my friends, have a drink, whatever. But, like, staying up late, that's when I just want to cut it off. Start early. I love a little day drinking, a little... Sunday fun day, but when it's 8 p.m., put me in bed. Put me to sleep. I'm a grandma. The gray hairs are coming in for a reason. Now it all makes sense. Okay, I'm going to make coffee and, like, try to wake up. We just got back from brunch. It was so much fun. It was really, really good. Now I'm kind of exhausted again. I was tired when I woke up. Woke up. I was... I'm tired from just like the weekend and like all last week was a lot. I feel like I just need a lazy day and I do want to play games. So maybe go for a walk later just because it is really nice out today. At first this morning it looked kind of chilly and then we were outside and I was like this is the nicest weather I think we've had in a really long time. Like this is my ideal weather I would say. Good morning. It is Monday. I'm sitting at my desk. I woke up and literally went straight to my desk to work on stuff. I was kind of working on stuff last night, but we were also like playing video games and watching TV. And I really got into this new show called The House of Villains. Really, really good. Good morning. All right, now I'm wearing this little two piece set cause I'm going to do a photo shoot today. And I thought I'd put on the first little fit. I'm gonna pull this down more so my tits are out and I'm wearing my robe right now, but this is not going to be in the shoe. I did my hair, straightened it up, gave it a trim as well because <laughs> I felt like this side was longer than the other side. It is, I think, like 9 a.m., 8.30, 9 a.m., and I was just watching Anne's video of her 2023 recap. It was really good. Like, she has really shared so much of her journey and I think it's really incredible. If you guys don't follow her YouTube channel, you should. This morning I'm gonna do some admin stuff and get ready. I'm gonna do my makeup right now. I wanna go live more often. Like, why don't I go live? And then I'm gonna clean up the house cause it's really messy and our, the photo shoot today, I'm actually doing in my house. If you've been watching, you know, like one of my photo, like a lot of my photo shoots have been outside. So with this one, I really wanted to do something like cozy and comfy and like girly and like soft, just because we've done like 
outside, outdoorsy. I mean, all of it was like girly and cute, like little skirts and stuff. But, and then I did like a beach one. I did two beach ones actually. I just wanted to switch it up. So I'm just gonna do it inside. I do have Tiffany, the photographer coming here. You guys have met her. Um, so I just wanna clean up the house cause I don't want any of this to be in the, the pictures. Is this tracking like doing too damn much? Someone is at my door right now. Holy fuck, I'm scared. Um, anyway, okay, so someone was just at the door. We don't know who it was, so we didn't answer the door. That is, like, my biggest fear is just someone ringing our doorbell. I'm gonna get to doing my face now. Got ready. Did I, did I already talk to you since I got ready? Anyways, I got ready, and I filmed so much stuff. I filmed stuff for Instagram. I filmed stuff for, like, reels and stuff and TikToks and whatever. Filmed two videos for my Alana Sips YouTube account because I did start Alana Sips YouTube account, like, a while back, and I was doing reels, but... Ever since that video I was telling you about with Blair, I'm going to just post some try-on haul stuff. So I just tried on, like, random things I already had. So I had, like, a bunch of lingerie, like, pajama set stuff. So I did that video, and then I did, like, shorts. So two videos already done. I just need to edit those. Um, I'm also working on a slushy email right now. And for slushy, the business, I need to... What do I need to do? I need to clean the house. That's what I need to do. <laughs> so I'm going to do that in a little bit. Daisy's been picking up and taking care of Rufus this morning, which has been really, really helpful. And I had two quick little meetings, one for um, my own business stuff and then one for Slushy. So that was good. I posted everything that I need to post for the day. So that's already done. I do have one post that I'm doing for um, X. I was going to say Twitter. I think we should just get used to calling it X now. It's X. Anyways, I have one post that I want to post later today on X. And then other than that, like, posting is done for the day. And my YouTube video that you're watching right now should be coming out tomorrow. So you're literally watching this in real time. This was literally from this week. I need to get ahead on my YouTube videos. I really do. So that's what I was just doing. And I think I'm going to try and edit those videos really quick and get one of the try-on hauls up. And then maybe even schedule the next one that is the plan let's do this i feel like i have a lot of energy all i've had is coffee today that's probably why it's the end of the day i forgot to get actual video footage of us shooting but we moved the entire house around like tried to get different angles tried to get different shots we like set up the chairs over here we did so many different things and i think we got some good shots we also did my birthday outfit shoot and i think that like is gonna come out so cute we did a whole like tennis court look we went to a tennis court got some shots there we only shot for maybe a couple hours and then she hung out for a little bit after and she just left and now i need to finish editing some videos she normally has the photos to me very very quickly to select sometimes it's like when she gets home that same day or the next day and then she takes like a few days to edit so she's really fast turnaround she's amazing so i'm gonna wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and with that all being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.